Hello, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Sam, and I'm Angeline. Did you sleep well last night, Sam? Yes, I don't have any problems falling asleep,、mm. and I can proudly say that I am. More like a morning type of guy. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a schedule of like going to bed at eleven o'clock、okay. and wake up at six. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> do you do some tai chi when you wake no, up? No, no, no. I just wake up and like check my mails and everything.、Yeah. Wow, six a.m. Yeah. <laughs> you really are a morning guy. Yeah, like、really、a grandpa.、Are. Yeah, a little bit like a grandpa. <laughs> Getting on with age, isn't it? <laughs> at、yeah. least you don't fall asleep at like eight p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're still young. <laughs> well, I didn't sleep until almost two a.m. Okay,、oh. no, that's not true. I did sleep well, but、yeah. it's just that I didn't sleep until almost two a.m. Why? What are you doing? I've been hooked on this TV drama. Okay. On Netflix,、cool. I'm so embarrassed to say this, <laughs>、no. but it's called Money Heist. Okay,、mm-hmm. have you guys watched it? No, I haven't watched it. It's basically about this criminal mastermind who、mm-hmm. wants to pull off the biggest heist in history.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so he wants to print billions of euros. Wow. Okay, so、mm-hmm. he's gonna print. This is not counterfeit money, mind you.、Mm-hmm. He's going to print this in the Royal Mint of Spain,、oh. which is the building where money is printed. Yeah, it's like real money. Yeah. <laughs> so of course he can't attempt this alone. So、mm-hmm. he recruits eight people to help him.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to give up too much of the story because、yeah. I think you guys should totally watch this. <laughs>、yeah. But you have to watch. Yeah, this. sounds like really interesting. Yeah, I think it, it totally worth your sleep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you don't need sleep. You can yeah, just watch Money Heist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I love to watch TV dramas,、mm-hmm. especially ones about crime. Oh, so maybe it's because I'm old. But a perfect night for me <laughs> would be one where I can stay in and binge watch dramas. Yeah, that sounds really nice. It does it. Okay, so you were on the same boat, right? Yes,、okay. yes, yes.、Yeah. So some of you might think I'm crazy. Like, what's so good about watching dramas? <laughs> There are better ways to use your time, right? Well, in part A of our translation unit today, it seems like TV drama. Might not all be so bad. Hmm. 好，马上来看到我们 Part A 的单句翻译了。我们呢就要来讨论一下现在很夯，大家都喜欢看这个，不管是 Netflix 也好啊，还是你看电视、看韩剧、看美剧、追剧呢，我们今天就要来翻译一下这个句子了。我们来看到第一个句子呢，他说：“当说到电视剧，那些不享受狂追剧的人呢，往往会认为这很浪费时间。”好，那在我们翻译之前呢，先提醒大家哦，我们这句呢是在描述事实，所以动词时态呢，我们注意到就是使用现在简单时就可以喽。Okay, the sentence translates to: When it comes to TV dramas, those who don't enjoy binge watching them often consider them to be a waste of time.、Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so if I know Sam well enough,、mm-hmm. he probably prefers to play games than watch <laughs> dramas, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so I think whether something is considered a waste of time is definitely subjective,、mm-hmm. right? In fact, many things can be considered a waste of time if it doesn't add value to your life. Mm-hmm. For me, I actually learned Cantonese and Mandarin through watching TV dramas. So I actually think TV dramas、wow. are educational. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> so when it comes to picking up a new language,、mm-hmm. watching TV shows can be quite effective. Okay.、Mm. For me, it's the same. I used to watch like How I Met Your Mother. Yes. Yeah, and that helped. Very old drama, and、uh, I kind of learned English from watching that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the phrase "when it comes to" is used to introduce a specific topic,、mm-hmm. right? We said when it comes to picking up a New language TV shows is the way to go. <laughs> It has the same meaning as speaking of. 好，当讲到什么事情呢，我们就可以说 when it comes to. OK， 注意到呢，这个 to 后面呢，我们是要加上这个名词或者是 ving 动名词哦。这个 to 是一个介系词。那这个用法呢，我们也可以说呢，刚刚这个 Angelina 老师就提醒了，我们可以说这个 speaking of. OK， 注意到呢，我们一样后面加上一个名词或是动名词，讲到什么事情。比方说呢，我们很常见到 speaking of the devil. OK， 说曹操，曹操到一讲这个恶魔，他就出现了。那差别呢，就在于说这个 speaking of 呢，常常是用在这个前面以及。提过的人事物，比方说，我们很常有一个用法，我们会说 speaking of which， OK， 这个 which 呢，就是在代称我们前面已经提过的一整件事情， OK， 所以注意到呢，我们 speaking of 跟这个 when it comes to 还是有一点点不同。我们呢可以用 speaking of 来造一个句子、哦、，I bet Gary would like this movie。我赌呢，这个 Gary 一定很喜欢这个电影啊、哦。Speaking of Gary， how is she these days？ OK， 讲到这个 Gary 呢，他最近过得怎么样啦？ OK， 注意到呢，我们 speaking of 是我们前面对话已经提到的人。Now we also saw the word binge. Okay,、mm-hmm. binge has become quite a popular word to refer to a short period when you do too much of something. <laughs> For example, binge eating. Okay,、mm-hmm. so maybe in an hour you eat like 
Ten pizzas, <laughs> binge drinking, and binge gaming. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's something you do. Binge yeah. gaming. <laughs> 好，狂做什么事情哦，我们就可以使用 binge 这个单词来表示。比方说呢，现在我们最常说的这个在家追剧哦，我们就会说 binge watching。你在家里这个狂看这个影集。那其他呢，还有像是狂吃 binge eating， 或是狂饮喝酒喝饮料 binge drinking， 或是呢，像这个大玩特玩玩游戏哦。比方说，很多人在做这个 speed run， 你花几个小时把一整个游戏破完 ，binge gaming， OK， 就是你大玩特玩。那名词的用法呢，我们就会说这个 binge 后面连接一个动名词、哦，就表示你狂做后面这个事情。那当动词的时候使用呢，我们只会加上这个介系词啊 ，binge on something， OK、嗯。比方说呢 ，Toby had a terrible stomach ache after he binged on ice cream and cake at the party， OK。托比呢在这个派对上狂吃冰淇淋和蛋糕之后，肚子痛得很厉害。Okay, so before the word binge was popular,、mm -hmm. we used the word marathon.、Uh, marathon. Yeah. yeah, so it means you'll be watching television for a long time span. For example, I'm inviting my friends over for a horror movie marathon. That、That's... means we're gonna watch horror movies back to back, maybe like four horror movies in a row. <laughs> That sounds kind of. Terrifying because I'm not quite a fan of <laughs> horror movies. You're not. Oh, okay. What genre <laughs> movies do you like the best? Um, last weekend I actually did this horror movie, but it's like it's called horror movie. It's、okay. like a funny one, like you know the brothers. They like make fun of the horror、oh, movies. Oh, a parody! Is yes, that what it's yes, called? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, a parody. Yeah, a parody. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. That kind of like a comedy thing is. More like my thing. More、yeah. like your thing. Okay, so Sam watched a parody of a horror movie,、mm -hmm. which basically means it's like a movie that they make fun of、yeah. a real movie. Yes, yes. So yes. sometimes the scenes are the same,、yeah. but they、ah, try to make it comical. Scary movie. Yes, yes. scary movie. Scary I movie. I know.、Yes. They have quite a few. Like they have one, two, three, and four. I yeah. think. Yeah. Last weekend, I binge watching the scary movie. Yeah, the whole series. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 好，继续看到呢，我们句子里面呢，他说这个 consider them to be a Waste of time. 这边呢，我们 consider 哦，就是将 A 视为 B， 认为 A 是 B 的这个用法。那常见的两种用法呢，比方说呢，我们可以像这边例句呢，我们是搭配这个 consider。你可以说这个 to be consider， 或是呢 to be think， 或是 deem。OK， A to be B。注意到这个 to be 是可以省略的。那另外一种呢，我们在这边呢，不是搭配 to be， 我们只是搭配 as。比方说呢，我们可以说 view A as B。OK， 把 A 视作 B， 或是呢 regard A as B， C A as B， 或是 think of。A S B 都是呢一样的用法。Okay, I regard my working holiday as an opportunity to experience a different culture. 我把打工度假呢当做体验不同文化的机会。Okay, so I hate waiting for the next week for a new episode. <laughs> I hate it so much. So I'll wait for the show to finish airing、mm -hmm. so I can binge watch. You know. Episode after episode after episode、yeah. without having to wait for the next episode. I probably sound like such a couch potato right now, but there really is value in watching TV dramas. Our second sentence says so, doesn't it?、Mm -hmm. <laughs> 好，我们呢继续看到我们第二个句子了。我们就看一下这个 binge watching 到底有什么好处。他说呢，然而有些研究指出啊，看剧不但能让人变聪明，还能呢、哦、激发人们有更多创造性的思考。我们这句呢一样是延续前一句，一样是在描述事实，所以呢动。词的这个时态，我们一样是用现在简单式。Okay, the sentence translates to. However, some studies indicate that watching dramas not only makes people smarter, but also stimulates them to think more creatively. So, to be honest, I'm a little surprised about this. <laughs> <laughs> TV shows can make people smarter and stimulate creativity.、Mm -hmm. I guess it really depends on the type of. Drama you're watching, right?、Mm -hmm. I mean, surely not all dramas can make you smarter. <laughs> like, imagine the Korean drama, all about like the girl falls in love with the rich guy, and, <laughs> but she's so poor, so like she can't marry the rich guy. I mean, maybe it can make you smarter. I don't know. <laughs> make you smarter, as in don't、yeah. go for the rich guy. <laughs>、yeah. Maybe it's like the images that can inspire you.、Ooh. Yeah, because personally, I'm a marketer. Okay. And sometimes I watch some Japanese anime. Okay. And they have the really creative, different approach, like how to tell a story. Oh. Like they have the really cool style of、okay. images. Okay. And like when I'm making marketing plan for my products, yeah, I can really draw inspiration from. <gasps> oh. Yeah. That, that's, that's right. I think that's the way how it makes you smarter. Okay.、Yeah. So、But、it's like you said, it can be like rich girls that type of thing. Like, ah, <laughs>、oh, okay. So I should never look for. A... <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So it's not just about 
the plot of the drama. Yeah. It might not be that. It might be the aesthetics of it, you know. Yeah. And it and, and it definitely is beneficial for certain people, like depending on the industry yes, that you're yes, in, yes, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, in terms of creativity, I must say that I can kind of relate. Okay. Mm-hmm. As you all know, I'm obsessed with crime dramas. <laughs> that has definitely opened a new world of possibilities for my imagination. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you are thinking about like going to rob a bank. Or... <laughs> well, you know what? If I wanted to rob a bank, I think I could probably do a good job. Oh, yeah, nice. because you know, like you said, we draw inspiration for dramas. Yes. <laughs> we see how they failed. How do they get caught by the police? And we just don't do that, right? Yeah. So the crime drama. Actually makes you smarter. Yeah, yeah, like you know, if you guys want to get away with murder, I think I might be able to help you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. 好，所以呢，看到我们这个句子呢，它一开始，因为它是连贯着我们第一个单句。到了这个第二个单句，那这边呢，我们就使用了这个连接词 however。OK， 这个字呢，写文章的时候非常好用哦，它是一个有这个对比意义的转折词，它呢就用来连接两个语义相反的句子哦，也就是呢，我们中文常常说的“然而怎么样，不过怎么样”。OK， 那常见的呢，除了 however 之外呢，其他还有像是这个 nevertheless， 或者是呢 on the contrary， 相反的，或是呢 in， 或是 by contrast。OK， 相较之下怎么样？这些呢，在写文章都是很好用的这个转折语气。的用词 ，OK. Dad assumes that pink is Joe's favorite color. OK. 爸爸呢以为粉红色是吉儿最喜欢的颜色。On the contrary, 相反的 ，Joe hates anything pink. OK. 吉儿呢讨厌任何粉红色的东西。So it looks like Dad doesn't really know his own daughter very well. <laughs> okay, a good argumentative essay should be backed up by scientific research.、Mm-hmm. So you'll often reference a study in your essay, and you can do this by saying "studies indicate" or "studies demonstrate" or "studies suggest." 嗯哼，好，中文呢，我们常常说这个指出或是显示，这种呢，我们常常在讲图表啊，或者在这个引用的时候，常常用到的这个动词。那在英文里面呢，在我们不同情境之下呢，事实上你就有不同的动词可以来选择。Indicate 这个字呢，多是用来呢指出数据，或是呢，比方说我们讲说这个图表里面有什么样的研究内容，我们会用 indicate。那 demonstrate 呢，通常是指这个论证。我们透过一个论证呢来阐述论点。那 exhibit 这个动词呢，它通常是指公开的呈现或者像展示的这种显示，我们会用 exhibit。那另外呢， illustrate 这个字呢，当然是用图跟这个图有关的，用图来说明，我们就会说 illustrate。那 depict 呢，它这个动词呢，则是多指这个透过图片来描绘或是呢来陈述。那其他类似的动词呢，还有什么？比方说像是 mention 提到， describe 叙述，或是呢 point out 指出，这些字呢都有这样的意思、哦。大家在文章之中呢。可以灵活的来运用，让他们来互相代换。Some say vaccines are harmful, but most medical studies point out that this isn't true. 有些人说呢，这个疫苗是有害的，但大部分的医学研究指出，事实并非如此。Okay, so not only do TV dramas make you smarter, they can make you think more creatively. The word stimulate means to cause or encourage something to happen or develop.、Mm-hmm. You'll often hear about how the government plans to implement tax cuts in hopes to stimulate the The economy,、mm-hmm. which basically means the government wants to encourage people to spend. OK， 激发或是刺激呢？我们很常使用 stimulate 这个动词来表示、哦。那意思相近的动词呢，还有比方说像是 encourage 鼓励，或是呢 inspire 激发灵感，或者这个 motivate 给一个动力哦。还有像是 spur 这个字呢，它是指这个靴子后面那个马刺，也可以表示刺激的意思。还有呢 ，prompt 这个字呢，这些单字哦都可以视情况互相来互换使用。OK， Francis was prompted to fight fires after a crew of firefighters saved his family's lives。OK， 一群消防队员。救了法兰西斯的家人的性命之后呢，这件事情又激发他成为一位消防员。Okay, let's take a quick break before we take a look at our part B of this unit. Okay, welcome back. So, do you still watch TV?、Mm. I know you like to game, but do、yeah. you watch TV? Yeah, I still, but not much because not there's much. Netflix, YouTube, lots of different that you can watch、streaming. online. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same for me. I don't actually have cable at home. I watch dramas online. So before the internet, I think most people relied on. 
television as a form of entertainment,、mm-hmm. right? Now we're pretty much glued to our smartphones,、oh, right?、Yeah. In part B, we're going to be talking about social media. Let's take a look at the first sentence. 好，在我们这个 Part B 的单句翻译里面呢，我们就来讲一下这个社群媒体对我们产生了什么影响啊、哦。第一个句子呢，就是说许多社群媒体公司致力于引起我们的注意，而我们大多数人甚至都没有意识到这如何影响我们。在这边呢，我们一样是描述事实哦，所以我们动词时态一样使用现在简单时就可以喽。In English, the sentence reads: Many social media companies devote themselves to capturing our attention, but most of us are not even aware of how this affects us. Okay, so to devote yourself to something means to spend your time, to dedicate yourself, or to commit yourself to doing something. For example, a mother may devote all her free time to her children. Of course, the purpose of social media companies is to get people to pay attention. So that is what they are devoted to. That is what they're going to spend most of their time doing. 嗯哼，致力于哦这个用法呢，我们就可以使用这个 be devoted, OK， 或是呢 be dedicated， 或是呢 be committed， 这些动词都可以。注意到我后面加上 to， 再加上呢名词或是动名词哦。这边的 to 呢是一个介系词。那呢，我们也可以直接使用这个主动的形式。我们可以说这个 devote, dedicate 或是 commit oneself, OK。把他自己投入什么事情？后面呢？我们一样加上 to 介系词，再加上名词或是动名词。Okay, this wildlife center is committed to saving and researching endangered animal species. 这个野生动物中心呢，致力于保存和研究濒危动物。Okay, when you see the word attention, you'll often see the word capture before it, right? Other words that go with attention are attract, catch, draw, grab. 嗯哼，这些动词呢 ，attract。Catch, draw, grab. It 呢都有这个引起你的注意力，引起你的兴趣的意思哦。OK， 我们呢可以说，比方说这个 capture one's attention， 或是呢这个 catch one's attention， 抓到你的注意力了，或是呢直接使用 attract, appeal to 这些动词，它就有吸引的意思。那呢我们也可以说 capture 或是 catch one's imagination. OK，、mm-hmm. 也是一样是引起了你的兴趣的意思。Monet's work really caught my imagination. 莫内的这些呢画作确实引起了。我的兴趣 ，so I decided to try a similar style of painting. 因此呢，我决定尝试类似的绘画风格。Okay, Sam, we'll also go into more detail about the grammar pattern we see in the second part of the sentence, right? 嗯哼，好，在我们句子的后半部呢，我们看到了这个察觉到的、意识到的，或者你注意到了什么事情的这个用法。在这边呢，我们可以使用 be aware. OK，、mm-hmm. 注意到呢，我后面加上 of， 再加上名词或是动名词，你注意到了这件事情。后面呢，我们可以在加上 that 加上一个字句 ，OK。那除了 aware 之外呢，我们也可以说呢 ，be conscious，OK、okay?。你对这件事情后面一样加上 of， 可以呢再加上 that 加上字句。那呢，我们也可以使用这个动词 realize。realize 呢，它一样有这个意识到、注意到。那它是一个及物动词，我们后面直接加上名词这个事件，后面呢再加上 that 加上字句。OK， 我们可以看一下这个例句呢。Were you aware that you needed a special visa to work in this country？ 你知道呢，你需要特殊签。才能在这个国家工作吗 ？OK， 注意到呢，这边就是 be aware that。OK， 这边呢，我们加上 that， 加上字句。Mm-hmm. Okay, and then our second sentence will shed some light on how social media can affect us. Okay. Mm-hmm. 好，第二句子呢，他说我们都已经变得更加依赖荧幕，但却呢损害了我们彼此之间的沟通和互动的能力。在这边呢，注意到我们动词时态了，我们使用的是现在完成式来表达这个是从过去某个时间点一直持续到现在还在进行当中的事情。The English translation reads: We have become increasingly dependent on our screens at the expense of our ability to communicate and interact with one another. Okay, so I must admit we have definitely become increasingly dependent on our screens,、mm-hmm. and even on technology for that matter. We rely on our smartphones to do just about everything, right? Sometimes、yes. we don't even <laughs> need to use our phones to look things up; we can just talk to it. And Siri or Bixby or Google will respond yeah, to Google, us. Yeah, Google. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 好，看到呢，我们这个句子里面呢，用到这个 be dependent on something， 或者是呢，我们可以使用这个片语，比方说 rely, depend， 或是 count， 后面加上 on， 再加上一个名词，就表示呢，你是依赖这后面这个名词，或是呢，你指望后面这个名词。OK， 那呢，我们可以后面再接上这个 to， 加上原形动词，来指望谁做什么事情，依赖谁来做什么事情。Can I count on you to take? This to the post office and mail it for me. 我能指望你呢，帮我把这个送到邮局并寄出吗？ 
Okay, of course, everything comes at a price, right? There is yeah. always a price to pay. For example, instead of ordering takeout, we can even get food delivered right to our doorstep. But it comes at a price. Okay, this dependency we have on our smartphones comes at the expense of our ability to communicate and interact with one another. For example, career-oriented parents oftentimes devote more time to their careers at the expense of their family. Mm-hmm. The more time that's spent developing their career, the less time they have to spend with their family. 嗯哼，在这边呢，我们看到这个用法哦。他说呢，以什么作为代价，或是牺牲了什么事情？在这边呢，我们可以使用这个片语 at the expense of， 或是呢，我们也可以说 at the cost of。OK， corporations offer cheap products at the cost of the health of their workers。OK， 公司呢以牺牲员工健康为代价来提供廉价的产品。OK， cost 或是 expense 呢，这些字都是花费。OK， 都是有费用的意思。所以呢，比方说，呃，刚刚 Angeline 举例。说呢，这个如果你很注重事业，你这个花很多时间在你的事业上，然后呢，你忽略了、牺牲了你跟这个家人相处的时间，这个呢就是你的 cost， 你的 expense， 就是你花费你所牺牲的事情。那另外呢，看到这边呢，我们还用到了这个用法，彼此怎么样，或是互相怎么样。我们呢可以说 each other， 或是呢 one another。OK， 这两个是可以互相替换的咯。For their anniversary, my parents got each other some funny gifts。为了纪念他们的周年纪念日哦，我的父母呢送给彼此一些有趣的礼物。OK， 爸爸送给妈妈，妈妈也送给爸爸。我们呢也可以换成 one another。My parents got one another some funny gifts。OK， 跟我们 each other 意思是一样的。That's right. I wonder what type of funny gifts they got each other. <laughs> like、um, one year an subscription <laughs> of Netflix. <laughs> is that funny? That seems very practical. <laughs> okay. Basically, what the sentence means is that the more dependent we are on our smartphones, the more likely we will run into problems with communication.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So I must admit, this is quite true. I sometimes get telephone phobia, <laughs> which means like I kind of get a little bit anxious when I need to talk on the phone. Yes. Do you get that too? Yes, me too. Yeah. It's like a lot easier messaging、yeah. than actually talking on the phone. For me, it's like you don't have to respond immediately. Yes. Yeah, you get to think a bit before you actually respond. That's true.、Yeah. But when you talk on the phone and have an actual conversation, you actually have to think on your feet. You have to. Pretty much be able to respond right away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you're in the service industry, this can be kind of difficult. If you're in the service industry and you talk on the phone a lot, you'll be able to react faster. But、yes. it's been a very long time since I've been in the service industry, so now I hesitate when I answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So honestly, I prefer to message. Yeah. I think it's also a problem. Like even where meeting people, but、yes. people are still like on their phones.、Mm-hmm. That's also. Kind of like how phones affect you. You have less communication.、Mm. Yeah. Whenever we're having dinner with my friends or something, everybody's on their phone. Yeah. Like playing games or like answering messages. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, if I go out with a friend、mm-hmm. or if it's like a reunion dinner, you know, with your friends, and you haven't met up in a long time, I feel like it's pretty rude to be on your phone all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I always put my phone away just so that I'm not tempted. To look at my、mm-hmm. phone, especially nowadays, like you know, it's so difficult to schedule, you know, yes, your times to、yes. meet up with your friends. <laughs> And so, when you finally get a chance to meet up with your friend, obviously, you should be spending quality time talking、mm-hmm. to each other,、mm-hmm. not being on your phone, right? Yes. Yeah. So, like you said, that's true. It definitely has affected the way that we communicate with one another. And sometimes, actually, it's easier for me to talk to a person via message.、Yeah. And then when I see them in real life. It's like I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, it's like some people you're better off talking to them through like、yes. texting. I don't、yes. know why. And then for other people, it's easier to talk in person. Yeah, it's really true. Like I have friends that we are constantly talking online. Yeah, and we're sending memes all the time. Yeah, but when we're meeting in person, it's a lot of silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know there are definitely other ways social media has affected us. I mean, information spreads much quicker, and the problem with this is that not all this information is true, right?、Mm-hmm. Yes, it can cause panic. Take COVID nineteen for instance.、Mm-hmm. Okay, there was a rumor that the materials that were used to make toilet paper were now、yes. going to be devoted to making face masks. So yes, people yes. started taking tons of buying tons and tons and tons <laughs> of toilet paper and hoarding it. Yes, yes. It's actually like happening 
all over the world. Yes, it has happened all over the world. And it's funny because you could hoard a whole bunch of things, but I don't know why toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Like, wouldn't you want to hoard food? Yeah, like drinking water. Yeah, yeah. but I guess toilet paper is pretty practical. I mean, there's yes. no other alternative to toilet paper, right? <laughs> There really isn't a substitute yeah. for that. So I guess I can see why toilet paper is something that <laughs> is pretty important. But honestly, a lot of countries actually manufacture toilet paper themselves. Mm -hmm. So there really isn't a need to hoard it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. 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 But anyways, social media has definitely, I mean, I think social media affected COVID-19, mm -hmm. not just in terms of spreading information mm -hmm. and also not just in creating panic. Yes. But it also has been able to get what governments need to get to their citizens, they've been able to spread that. Yes, also. yes. Yeah. So it's also been a good thing. Social yeah. media has also really been helpful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. But yeah, I mean, the, the best way to get information out to people, the right information, mm -hmm. is to use social media, right? Yes. Because people are always on Facebook, they're yeah. always on Instagram. It's the easiest, the fastest. Yeah. yeah, and it's easier for people to share that information. Yeah, so that's our episode for today. We talked about TV dramas, and mm -hmm. I... I'm a firm believer of TV dramas <laughs> being educational. And then nice. we talked about social media mm -hmm. and how it definitely has affected the way that we communicate with one another. Unit 9, Translation, May 15th When it comes to TV dramas, those who don't enjoy binge-watching them often consider them to be a waste of time. However, some studies indicate that watching dramas not only makes people smarter, but also stimulates them to think more creatively. Many social media companies devote themselves to capturing our attention, but most of us are not even aware of how this affects us. We have become increasingly dependent on our screens at the expense of our ability to communicate and interact with one another. I think that's all the time we have for yeah. today, right? So you're going to start binge watching? Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I will. I'm going to continue my money heist binge watching. Yeah, nice. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. This is Angeline. This is Sam. Goodbye.